Hey guys, my name is Nexus, and this is Business at Midnight, made by David Moore, May 25th, 2001. This mission has some interesting architecture, including one very out-of-place mansion. So, with that in mind, on with the mission. Okay guys, here's Normal, our head expert. Alrighty, so we're gonna have to break into this place sneakily. City Watch Station. <sighs> And I can climb right over this. Note that I'm probably not supposed to do this, and this is a new dark thing. So, in the interest of maintaining a little bit of decorum, I'm not going to go that way, because I'm not supposed to. I think. I'm of the opinion that that's probably not a possible mantle. So, I'm not going to do it. Just in case. You know, you, sometimes it just seems like a good idea to do things. But not this time. Seems clear enough now. Since I can just pick this then? lock, so. Anyway, we need to in the not there. be seen. Sorry, I made a fuss. Ring bell for service. There is no bell, so your your sign is flawed, and I don't appreciate that. Of course, standing here doing this does have some drawbacks, as you can see. Getting seen by guards is a very high possibility, which is, I'm pretty sure, is the reason why this is here. And, you know, that's not a very long lockpick, and I think that works out pretty well, because I have to, you know, make myself pretty available to be seen. That's an example of a lockpick I like. Alright, let's try not <laughs> goofing around this time. Um, went out too soon. Who's there? Went out too soon, got seen. You know how that goes. Alrighty. Uh, the servant is coming. So I have to be a bit careful with that. Because he will see the body. Alright. Hello? Is someone there? That was my fault. <laughs> well, yeah. Hello? Thank you. I'm um, just going to toss that over there. And all was quiet. Fantastic. Okay. Is there anything in this room that I need? Probably not. Um, nope. There's not even any water in the sink. How unusual. Not that I'm complaining. I'm sure that's quite annoying to do. Okay. So there are alarms here. Yes. And that's an odd shadow, but not sure what's causing that. Alright. Let's keep going around. I don't like that these. I don't like that these double doors don't open together. It's kind of annoying, but that's just my OCD acting up. All right, and you're going to be there. Mm-hmm. Many, many guards. It seems. try this. Don't actually know where I'm going. I really don't remember like any of this mission. Hmm. Why is this set in this is the side of the... It seems like a weird place for a sewer grate, gonna be honest. And they were doing so well. Alright. That was one of the ones that just takes a little bit too long. I talk about those way too much. But, hey, it keeps happening. So, you know. It's just how it is. There's nothing challenging about lockpicking in this game. And I'll say it as many times as I need to. To get my point across. 
But, you know, there's nothing that can really be done about it. Um, Thought I saw something. Because challenging lockpicks are going to take a while. Like, that is one thing that I did like about Thief 3. And I don't like... There aren't a whole bunch of things that I liked about Thief 3. But that's one of them. Uh, the lockpick system there? changing was... No, well, okay. I didn't know he'd turn around right then. <laughs> that was worth a shot, though. But yeah, anyway, Thief 3, lockpicking. I liked it. It was uh, a little bit more challenging than press and hold. Oh, I see. That's the only reason. All right, I don't know if I can hit either of them without hitting, you know, alerting the other, so... Let's just watch and wait, then. All right, so he doesn't turn around. It's that he reacted to the noise. Got it. Alrighty. Does he make a full circuit? Nope, he turns around. Which is... Okay, so the watch station is actually connected to a mansion or something, I guess. Um, it's a little bit strange, but not that unusual, really. At least in fan mission world. Obviously, None of this really applies to real architecture and things for the most part. Uh, we're not really going to be seeing those for a while, probably. Which is fine. Everybody's got to, you know... And I'm not saying that there's not real architecture in some of the fan missions. It's just that a lot of it is more like fantasy convention. Like, this, I guess, would be an interrogation room. And that's the, supposed to be the one-way mirror. Does that actually work, actually? <laughs> I, I wasn't paying attention, so... Oh. That is pretty cool. That, that's that's utilizing a bug in the dark engine, though. I'm just gonna point that out. Um, this is the evidence room right next to the interrogation room. Usually not a good plan, but hey. I'll accept that. That's the alarm. Can I... Pick this? Nope. This requires something. Oh, oh, so we're back out here now. Okay. So I've made a full circle then. Got it. Yeah, I can't really figure out, like, if this whole thing. Yeah, the City Watch to protect. to patrol and protect, which is interesting, but hey. Yeah, nothing back here. Is that you? You see something? Just gonna close that. Nothing. Nothing there. Good night. I just wanted to see if I could. Alright. So, we have this room with two guards who I probably can't take out because they're, you know, right on top of each other. Look there! Is that here anything? Perfect. Belong, coward! See, the trick is to alert them just enough. I'm hit! Watch your back! Oof. That they don't go for the alarm. Yeah! Perfect. Alright, that's got them taken care of. So, this just kind of brings me back to the same area, though. So, that didn't really help me that much. That's an interesting... I'll look up there in a moment. So many twists and turns. Although, I gotta say, these buildings are really oddly shaped on the outside. Is there anything up here? No? 
doesn't really seem that way, but I'm going to drop all these barrels down because I feel like it. Come on. Go. Yeah. Didn't accomplish anything. Nope, nothing here. Doesn't look like there's anything there either. Let go. Yeah, I don't think there's anything there. Okay. What does this say? Staff Sergeant Hayward Billings. This is a, this is a good example too of uh, like the front door, where if you're ghosting, you're probably gonna get caught if you're not careful. Actually, I don't know if you could pick this one. Um, considering that there's you know guys watching right there. Okay, alarm systems. Oh, key. Alrighty. They're mad about some guy getting fired. Alrighty. Yeah, that's an odd shape for a building. Just, uh... I have actually seen a building shape like that, though, so it's not that strange, apparently. That, that building looks like a ship. It's kind of weird, but kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure why in real life they decided to build it that way. It looks very strange. Um, considering it's a corporate, like, you know, office building, so it just looks really weird. But, uh, do, okay, I have a key now. And I'm hoping that this key is this. It's not. I don't know where this key goes. Alrighty, let's see what I missed down here, because I remember there was another door. Here it is. Electrical wooden sensitive equipment authorized guards only see billings for key. I got it. <coughs> you know they mentioned putting a guard with hearing problems down here. Hmm. Thought I saw something. So I was kind of wondering. Yeah, I think. Show yourself. Hmm. Maybe. All right. What are these? Floodlight controls. Floodlight controls. Yes, that is what all of these say. Hopefully the turning all of those once will uh, turn everything off. I do prefer it when it says, you know, on versus off. Um, instead of just floodlight controls or... Um, I can't even think of like what some of them say, but... Usually they... I would prefer if they said on, off, and that I know which position is which. And also that it's labeled properly, or correctly, rather. Because sometimes we've run into the situation where the sign says on is one way, off is the other, but the actual button or lever works the exact opposite way. I gotta be honest, I'm not sure where the floodlights are, so I don't know what that accomplished. Um, all these lights are still on, which is not what I wanted. Oh, okay, well, yeah, there's four floodlights, and those are the floodlights. Huh? Where'd the... There. Is someone there? Well, hey, there, there were two Nothing guys here. Now. There? Um, um, I'm, I'm actually really confused, because there were two guys standing out here, right? Is there anything down here? Or... Okay. I could have sworn there was a guy on the other side, too. Who goes there? I I guess maybe he walked away or something. Uh, seems quiet enough now. Hmm. Oh, well. Maybe maybe I wasn't paying attention enough, but I could have sworn there was a second guy there. These are not actual doors. Yeah, well, this is very strange. I don't really feel the need to <laughs> open this gate. I'm going to be honest. Hello? But clearly that's what it wants me to do, so I will. I'm just a little bit concerned. Because it doesn't seem like I should necessarily have to. Alrighty. Every time I see those, those, uh, 
practice dummies. Over there. Stand forth and it didn't even scratch. Nope. I should have saved. Much sooner than I did because now I'm over here and things are not quite as I wanted them to be. Hello? Show yourself. Someone there? Hey! Someone there? Who is that? That was an awfully quick reaction. Man, I must have gotten real lucky the first time. Okay, are you done searching yet? There we go. You know, that's gonna get real frustrating, I can tell you that right now. Alright, so they have sort of pseudo instantaneous reaction times, which can get very frustrating. But hey, you know what? That's just life. Also, I can't get too close to them because, of course, that's going to freak them out despite being through a wall. But, you know what? That's just the one. It happens. Also, possibly leaving the body where he could see it didn't really help that. Because, you know, they can see a little bit through walls. The problem with games, of course, is that the AI always knows where you are at any given moment. Knows exactly what noise you're making, things like that. Because, you know, you're playing the game. That's just how that works. So, sometimes the AI will cheat. Just kind of happens. Doesn't usually happen in games like this, though. At least not to the same degree like a fighting game would, for example. Fighting games cheat a lot because it can read your inputs. Who's there? So it can re it can react to your inputs faster than you can actually like really input the keys. So it's kind of interesting. You can like because I've watched someone play fighting games and like try and trick the AI, and it's really funny because you can input like half of the combinations for a combo. And uh, the AI will start reacting to as if you had finished the full combination. And it was it's just kind of funny to watch. Where is this walking? I don't know what good that's going to do me, but hey, what is this? Senior Lieutenant Martin Oshaya. You know, I didn't go in the sewers. I'll have to go back there. Oh, okay, I did miss something. I'm sure I've missed a lot of things, actually. I do not have very much loot at all, now that I think about it. Lieutenant Arturus Maximo. I have a feeling he's going to get up if I get too terribly close. Is that you? Oh, you're stuck there. That's right. This is Thief 1. Goodbye. The junior Lieutenant Quince Yoland. I don't know why his room is made of marble, though. Why, why does a lieutenant get a marble floor and, you know, the senior lieutenant gets wood and I just... No. Just for the purpose of trying to mess with the player. I disapprove of that. It, is there no door on this, by the way? Because it sounds like there's somebody in here. Oh, there's a door. Is this the morgue? Is this why I have a morgue key? Yes, this is the morgue for some reason. What's that in the shadow there? You, my friend, are about to meet a date with a blackjack. Seems like an odd morgue, but you know, what do I know about the uh, funerary practices of city inhabitants? 
Is this the person I'm... Yeah, Rupert's corpse. I don't, re I don't really understand why I'm stealing this, but hey, you know what? That's fine, too. Okay, so... Retrieve the body, get the diary. I have not found, like, any of these. All right. So... I'm gonna assume that they want me to bring the body to that place because I can't really, like, see an, an other option for it. So, northeast gate. It's probably out this way. North and east. Yes. So, just really quickly, I'm going to bring that over in that direction. Wish I could bunny hop properly with a corpse, but it's kind of difficult when uh, with a corpse in your hand and going uphill. It's just a little bit difficult. All right, so you know, there's some really nice architecture here, actually. I, I like the attention to detail and things. I just think it's a little bit strange. Like, this is nice. Why is the inside so weird? A little bit is where I'm going with that. Okay, I don't know which gate they mean. Do I have a? Oh, I do have a map. All right. Started here, alley. House got Korean's Manor, Tower. Eagle Gate is here. House got and Red. House got Street is what I need. So, what here? Eagle Gate. Yeah. This is my exit. So. This is Kurgan's Manor. I guess. Don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but I can't see a way to unlock this. I'm supposed to go through the sewers. Excuse me while I do that. Because I need to, you know, kind of go back this way anyway. There's probably more stuff at the watch station. Although I do have to say, having the police station attached with an attached morgue is very much a modern convention. And not a, uh, that's not like a usual practice type of thing. Actually, you know what? Why does his mansion open out into the, why does the kitchen of his mansion open out into the guards, you know, the, the watch station? That's a little bit strange. Who's there? Did Please. Go to sleep. You know, I can actually think of a good reason, now that I've read that note, why exactly they would be connected. Um, way back when, it's very possible, well, technically speaking, the only authority would be the Lord of the Land, so, in terms of, like, an organized watch station, that would be granted by a noble of some sort, like, the land would be, um, chartered? That sounds like the word I want to use. You know, chartered for that use. There'd be a contract and everything, and it would say, Hey, you guys get to use this so long as you do X, Y, and Z. And hooray, security for everybody. And the reason we want to do that is because it's bad for business when even the poor people are going to end up, you know, resorting to crime. We want that taken care of. Hello. This is an interesting little ballroom. It's a really nice texture. Whoopsie. Didn't seem to do anything though, so that's good. Alrighty. Hello. You and me, we're not going to get along so well. Do you patrol? Because it seems like you were standing. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, so he did see me. See, he was standing. I wonder if I can use the light to do this.
so do you turn around at all? I mean, nope. Yeah, that's that's a no go. I don't really have any way of like exterminating all these lights, you know. So I would appreciate it if you would turn around and not just sit in that chair. I gotta say, that's a really interesting way to get out of a chair, too. This must be really tricky to ghost. Haha! <clears throat> -ha. All right. I got a key. I don't know what it's for because I didn't look at the name before picking up the guy. All right. What key is this? Manor front door key. All right. See, this is how you're supposed to do that. You're not actually supposed to be able to jump the fence, which I did. Oh, nope, that's coming from that way. <laughs> My brain and ears do not always function properly. <laughs> I hear a second guy coming. That's the last time I jump for rats. So are there two guards that patrol around then? Ah, eh, probably. Oh, there's three. Well, since this is Thief 1 and not Thief 2, I'm not really inclined to try it, but... Perfect. Now to toss them down the stairs. Oh, he didn't go very far. See, I love using the guards as slinkies and just tossing them downstairs, but they don't go very far in this one because the steps are just a bit too wide. First world problems. Alright then. That's actually really funny. <laughs> I didn't really think about it before I said it, but it just kind of makes me giggle a little bit. Woe is me, my steps are too wide, I cannot toss my guards downstairs. Alright, just make it a full circle because I wanted to make sure there weren't any left. That's a symbol of chaos. You know, it would have been much nicer if there was like a piece of loot in the middle. That would have like really tied this room together. Just saying. Not hating, just saying. Alright. Can't jump on beds really too well, so. Nothing. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna complain about it. I understand these things, you know. I've had like four, four, three or four empty boxes now. Kind of annoying, but hey, I get it. Oh, key mark TWR. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna strangle whoever made this. I cannot stand the empty boxes. I really can't. That's broken. Oh, okay, well, this was completely unexpected. This is a very odd location. Okay. Uh. Gonna be honest, that seems a little bit dangerous to have in your bathtub. Making that kind of noise, you know? But hey, what do I know? Also, fire department. Yep. All right, good. Now that the fire department is on their way to whatever uh, arson is probably happening. <laughs> it's probably not arson. Just uh, gonna point that out. Oh, I do have a row barrel. Okay. That means I should have been looking up more. <sighs> Anything up here? Nope, that was a waste of time. And there's nothing in the empty spaces. Not that I can see. There's no fake books or anything. It's just sort of 
there. I feel like there's supposed to be more effects than that over here. Did I turn my settings down or something? I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be some sparklies going through here to like sort of highlight. Oh, 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 no, no, not quite. This is gonna hurt. Oh, I thought it would. All right, uh, let me try. Nope, because then I'm just gonna end up right there. Yeah, going straight up is not helping me. Thanks, Garrett. Oh, there we go. Well, that's a little bit spooky, but all right then. I guess I could come back to it. There doesn't look like there's really anything up here, though. Whoops. Wait. So touching the sides suddenly makes it so that I'm not doing things. Okay. I'll do that later then. I would like to quench this flame, personally. Duh, yeah, I didn't think that would work. I'm actually interested in what he was going to say, so I'm going to redo that. Oh, now... You're dead, my boy. Ow. That's kind of cool. He speaks. Can you not... You'll have to do better with that. <laughs> what accent is that? It keeps changing. Alright. So that was a lot of story all at once. What the heck? Smoke just looked weird all of a sudden. Um, let me read this first. Well, I'm going to keep that because I don't know what combination that's two or four, but hey. So anyway, that's that was a lot of explanation all at once, basically. Um, also referencing Dungeons and Dragons because he was talking about what, Big Bees? <sighs> Big B's something or other, which, uh, some stuff. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, so a good guy as a mage got kicked out of the Hand Brotherhood and set the watch to doing things for his ultimate plan of getting one over on the Hand Brotherhood. Yeah, that's the gist of it. All right, so, 1152232231. Six two. That doesn't help me. One two two one two. One five twenty three twenty three six. Does that mean well? It wouldn't be actually like minus because that wouldn't make any sense. But that means it's a five combination lock. Let me think about that. Um. Because it says one two down here. How do I know? Well, let's think about this. We have a 1, a 5, 23, 23, and 6. So... I'm not getting it. Can can these be said to be 1? Like, the, the mountain is 1, and then like the wind is 5, and then water 6, and then fire 23? Is that, is that where we're going with this? Or is something else? Because neither of those texts really, like helped me assign a number to these things, but I, you know what, I'm gonna go double check that. I'm just gonna double check really quick that that, that those texts didn't actually have any numbers on them, because I don't think they did, but that doesn't mean, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Oh, okay. 
That was weird. There is no numbers, no numbers, no numbers, no numbers, no numbers, no numbers. And I'm not just looking for numbers, I'm actually like able to see the whole page at once and sort of see that there's no written numbers really that would help me out there, so. Uh, hmm. Well, so that means one of these... Okay, so let me just take a look at this papyrus again. 1, 5, 23, 23, 6. If I assume that it's sort of in numerical order, that the fire would, you know, the one on the very end is 23 and the one on the very left is 1, that would mean 1 here, 2 there, 23, 1, 23, 2, and then, what was it, that's 6, 2? Oh no, that's backwards, it should be 2 and then 1. So, I do 1, 1, I do 5, 2, I do 23, 2, and I do 23, 1, and then I do that one. And of course that's not the combination because that would be silly. Alright, is it possible that he thinks these look like numbers? Well, none of these look like a number 1 to me. Um, there's nothing that I could say about like the points, the number of lines used. Uh, they don't use 23 lines. The 23 is the outlier here that is not making any sense to me. Okay, so that's my issue though, is that the 23 is the issue. I don't understand where the 23 comes from. But it's obviously a five digit combination. Okay, I thought about it. And I realized M is, uh, let me, let me just look at this again because I can point this out. Because I think M is that. Um, air. Was it F? F is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E, F. Yeah, 6. I don't really get the 5, though. Mountain. Or, no, Earth. Okay, no, I got it. It's Earth. Duh, it's earth. I was thinking mountain. It's earth. It's five. Okay, so air, earth, uh, water, water, fire. So air one, earth two, water two, five, duh, duh. Oh, I got, okay, good. Aha, the gem. It shall be mine. <laughs> I like how that just stops as soon as I take that. Um, so in the interest of I'm going to do this because this is a dumb way to get down anyway. <laughs> yep. Cheating. It happens. Uh, it's just, it's frustrating getting down. I tried it once already and um, you can actually end up where that... Uh, that effect on you, the lower gravity and a little bit of slow motion, uh, it will stay with you, which is kind of weird, but happens. You know, just a random, uh, not a new dark thing, but like just a, a dark engine bug. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. So I've got everything from here, I guess, which means I need to go back to the watch station. Um, because I did not do everything there, and I didn't go in the sewers, which apparently don't actually link up to this place. Which probably has some stuff in it. Maybe. Um. So, hopefully, I'll be able to do everything. Okay, so I need to open that one, uh, evidence locker. Did I go this way? Is there anything over here? The answer appears to be no. I mean, yeah, this is here. Okay, well, let me try and remember where things are then. None of these were openable, right? Correct. None of these are real doors. Somebody is walking. Nobody should be walking. Who is walking? No, really, who who is walking? Huh. 
Who the heck are you? All right. All right, then. I don't know how he got there, but you know what? I applaud him for attempting to remain blackjack free. Okay, so what is down here? Because it's, it's going to be impossible to get back up there. Pretty much, right? No, okay, there's wood up there. I could rope barrel. This is uh, the rest of the lights, then? This is kind of strange. Well, yeah, that turns on all the lights, but why would I want the lights on? Oh. Alright, well, I do like my coins. Where is this? How would I know to, like, go here? Is this a shortcut? To oh, wait, there was probably a grate somewhere in the city that I wasn't paying attention to. Uh, have I been here? Oh, that's right. I didn't actually, like, go through... Yeah, okay. I see. That's just a secondary way in. I was wondering. Alright. So what's this way, then? Okay. Oh, there we go. Box. Lights and junk. You know... It's getting a little bit spooky down here. I like these sewers, though. I think this is a very good, uh... Hmm. I thought there would be something over here, but there isn't. Unless it's that, like, is a tiny, tiny ring that I just can't see unless I get super close. And I'm... You know what? I'm not gonna bother. I can't stand looking for those most of the time. I really just can't. They're just too annoying. Oh, because there is actually nothing down here, so that was a waste of time. I love it when things go nowhere. Haha. <laughs> I love messing with boxes in water, though. Okay. Well, let's see... Fastest way back up is this way, of course, because I already have the gate open. Alrighty, so I still need to open that evidence locker, which is, uh, somewhere over here. Oh, it's right here. So can I actually pick this lock? Because I don't know. I didn't try. I have but one option available to me. Yeah, it is, it is breaking, so. Don't know how you should ghost that. Um, which explains the buttons on the wall, which one is the alarm and which one isn't. Nope, that, not that one. There we go. Alrighty. This book contains nothing interesting. Oh, Rupert's Diary. Can I read it? Nope. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Nothing there. Nothing here. This is... Ooh, blackjacks. Could always use some extra blackjacks. I seem to lose mine far too much. So what is this button? Oh, it closes. I see. Alright, so that's... uh. Everything, actually. Be professional. Okay, yeah, sorry. I had to, like, double check for some reason that it wasn't a no knockout objective, even though it's like I've been knocking people out this entire time. That would be embarrassing. Okay, come on. Let's go a little bit faster with those bunny hops. Uh. Oh, okay, this is actually a direction that I can go. Okay, uh, does not count for getting out, though. 
use the Eagle Gate, it says. And maybe if I go out of the area and then back in. Nope. How this is the Eagle Gate, I double checked. Well, this is mighty frustrating. Use the Eagle Gate, it says. Where is the endpoint, I says. Alright. So this, despite being the Eagle Gate, doesn't really count. Um, possibly because of the no-kill objective, um, might be set improperly, and so it got confused. Um, like, I don't... I'm gonna didn't expect it over here. I just I'm trying to like get out of the area and then come back and see if that helps. Nope, uh, that's uh, that's the issue. I can't open this gate at all. I know. I'm not going to bother going back to the start, which I could do. I'm just going to use my usual buttons that I press to finish the mission, which is inbuilt cheat code basically. Um. Yeah, there's actually no loot objective, so I wasn't like. Well, there is, but I already got it. Never mind. Um, so I missed 20 loot, which is probably somewhere hiding around. It's probably a stack of coins or something. Um, so yeah, I mean that's that's pretty simple. That's it. Um, there's not much to it. There is no review. I think I'll have to double check. Okay, so this received a 7 out of 10 from 31 votes on the circle. So, that said, not too much about this mission that really stands out. Uh, some of the architecture buildings were very nice. Um, particularly in that sort of lead up around the, the actual, like, watch station and all that stuff. Um, once we got inside the actual buildings, though, things were very plain and not really what you would expect from a mansion, for one. Um, that, that stuff with the Hand Brotherhood was just completely out of nowhere. All of a sudden, you're in this random... Oh, no, wait, he's been a mage this whole time, didn't you know? Um, so just some interesting little things like that that just sort of do a little bit like of a weird... Make you do a weird double take, I guess. Um, that said, it was a pretty fun mission, so I'm Nexus, and I will see you guys next time.